Vision for Thursday, October 19th, 2023. I'm Bree, and today's top story highlights our student council elections that take place tomorrow morning at 9. Each year, we elect officers to oversee our student body government. We caught up with Miss Jolly to get some more information about the process. Okay, good morning, students. This is Miss Jolly, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about student council officer positions, which will be held tomorrow between 8 and 10 a.m. You will need to vote on your device um, during break, but if you are off campus for any reason, we did open up the window to make that a little bit um, more fair for everyone, um, just in case you're not going to be on campus. The following students are running for president, Makaya Lee, Amisha Garrett, Susan Aliadani. So your student council president is really the person who kind of spearheads everything and um, puts forth ideas to Mr. Tungit when they have um, executive meetings. So again, those three candidates are Makaya Lee, Anisha Garrett, Susan Aliadani. For vice president, we have two candidates, Jasmine Connor and China Garner. And your vice president will step in in case the president cannot be there for any reason. For secretary, we have candidates Ashana Stewart, Leslie Dominguez, and Tamara Layton. So the secretary of student council is the one who takes the minutes, writes everything down, anything that is discussed in student council, this person will take notes of. The treasurer candidates are Kennedy Henry, Amaya Jones, Desriona Flowers, and Marcos Galvan. These students really have a say in how the money for student council is spent, and they, they oversee that and make sure everything is done as it should be. Um, you, what else do I need to say? Oh, if you have any ideas for student council, if you are not a member of student council, you can talk to the representatives. There are representatives for the freshman class, the sophomore class, junior class, and senior class. And then those representatives will take your ideas and talk to the executive officers. So it's very important that you pay attention to the candidates' videos and you can decide who the best candidate, who your choice is for these officer positions. We gave each of the candidates the opportunities to submit videos to our email account if they chose to do so. Here are the campaign speeches. Good morning, Horn Lake High School. My name is Makaya Lee, and I am running to be your 2023-2024 Student Council President. Some of you may recognize me because I served as your secretary last year, and I had an amazing time helping this school. I would love the opportunity to continue to help make Horn Lake the best place that it can be. My biggest passion has always been community service, and I'm currently a member of the Mayor's Youth Council, the DeSoto County Youth NAACP, 
and I also serve at two different churches within our community to help out. My goal this year and forever is to make sure that everyone who walks through our doors knows the true meaning of what it is to be an Eagle. So if you would like to help make this year the best year it could be, vote me, Makaya Lee, as your student council president. Hi hey y'all, my name is Amisha Gary and I'm currently a Horn Lake High School cheerleader and I'm in the 12th grade and I'm in a running for president and I think you should vote me because this is a great opportunity for me to expand awareness on issues that affect us students and it will be an honor to represent Horn Lake High School so you should vote me, Amisha Gary, as your next student council president. Hey Horn Lake High School, my name is Ashana Stewart and I will be running for the secretary for our student council. You should definitely vote me because I will work hard to keep everything me organized for our student body. Also, I will innovate creative ideas and I work well with others. Be sure this Friday you vote me, Ashana Stewart, year 2023-2024 secretary. My name is Kendi Henry, I'm a sophomore and this year I'll be running for treasurer. You should vote me for treasurer because of my success in mathematics along with my experience as treasurer at Horn Lake Middle School in the 2021-2022 school year. My main focus as this treasure will be to work with fellow officers to ensure a better high school experience and to manage funds wisely so that more school activities like field trips, dances, and holiday events can be funded this year. Hi, my name is Dejan Flowers. I'm in 10th grade and I'll be running for treasurer. I feel as though you should vote me for treasurer because I feel like I'll be very good at managing money and that I can help with the funding of different events that can happen throughout the school year. This will be an amazing opportunity for me and for like the school year to see what I can, what I'm capable of, you know? So yeah, but there's young flowers for treasure. Hi everybody, my name is Marcos Galvin and I'm running for the student council treasurer position. I'm a great fit for this position because I've been on the student council for three years and I know how the student council works and how Horn Lake operates. Voting for me will ensure that the money for student council goes towards great ideas. Earlier this week, Mr. Tungit presented the September Teacher of the Month Award. All right, Horn Lake, today we are on the English Hall. Miss Rashonda Riley was our Teacher of the Month. She is an amazing teacher, always teaching. We're going to go in and present her with our Teacher of the Month Award with our class here. Of course, she gets her own parking spot up front, a $25 Amazon gift card from the Dream Center or Life compelled church in Horn Lake um, but she is amazing she could win it every month she's always teaching hard worker and we love her her kids love her so we're gonna go in now and present her with this she's got her lights off teaching I like that Hey, can I have y'all's attention real quick? Watch your eyes. I'm going to turn the lights on real quick. All right. Some of you may not know, but we do a Teacher of the Month every month. The first Wednesday of every month in this month was your teacher, your one and only, Miss Rashonda Riley. Miss Riley is always teaching. She's always engaging. She makes it fun. Look at her. Look around at the room if you can see that, Mr. Lewis. She's always decorating, and it, it's always fun and engaging and inviting. And she loves you. I promise. She loves you and works hard and plans more than anybody on campus to make sure you don't. You're not only learning, but you're engaged while you're doing it. Great classroom control, and she's just wonderful. So thank you. All right. We'll be sitting down with Miss Riley in the coming days for an interview, so stay tuned for that segment. As a part of College Month, we've been talking with teachers about their favorite memories of college. Hey, how you doing? This is Coach Davis. Um, I attended Delta State University, and my favorite memory would have to be um, playing my games at uh, Walter Taylor's Coliseum um, in front of the crowd. It was a beautiful atmosphere. Uh, everybody was so supportive and there was a lot of green and white and it was just a wonderful time. Hey y'all, good morning. I'm Coach Jackson. I went to the University of Nebraska. My favorite memory from college. I was featured on game day and they were talking about my family and I played the University of Texas and I had a big game. 
Hi, my name is Miss Nelson. I attended Delta State University, and my favorite memory from college was graduating, walking across the stage with a 4.0 GPA. My name is Miss Salisbury. I went to the University of Mississippi, and my favorite memory is having smaller classes that allow me to connect with other people, and it helps you when you get to your career world, so you have people to network with. My name is Miss Caps. I graduated from Ole Miss, and my favorite memory from college was being able to learn at my own pace. Chris McGowan, uh, Payne College. I, well, I went to Payne College, a H, small HBCU in Georgia, and best memories were was some of the people that I met in college who are still some of my best friends to this day. James McGowan, Coach, Mr. How you want to pronounce it. Uh, my favorite memory, uh, the Jackson State University. Uh, my freshman year playing, uh, we played Alcorn University, and it was one of the first large, large games that I had played in. And you could feel the rumble of the people in the stadium. Uh, I think we recorded an NCAA record that year uh, to about 75,000 people. So. Uh, just walking in and feeling the energy from the people even before the game they weren't cheering they were just whispering and you could feel the the intensity of people's just whisper sitting around you and you look up and look around and there's a lot of people just there to see you and the bands play. Coach Allard, uh went to the University of Memphis for in track four years favorite memory was when we beat Tennessee in 96 when they had Peyton Manning and I helped bring one of the goalposts down, and I cracked like a rib or two, like right in here when the goalposts came down. Hey, I'm Coach Hatcher. I went to Ole Miss, and my favorite memory was the community of soccer that I had while I was there. Got to play all the time and just had a lot of fun. My name is Coach G. I went to Union University, and my favorite memory was hitting a walk off. Yeah. October is Anti-Bully Month, and this week we're going to feature a number of segments highlighting bullying and ways to help prevent it. October is National Bullying Prevention Month, and today we're going to look at social bullying. This is any bullying that is done with the intent to hurt somebody's reputation or social standing. Social bullying often happens between friends. It can happen in two ways, either by trying to exclude someone and make them feel unwanted, or by gaining someone's trust and then breaking it. Social bullying could include spreading a friend's secret all over the school to damage their reputation, or encouraging others to ignore, chastise, or threaten a friend. The movie Mean Girls from 2004 shows many examples of this kind of bullying. This type of bullying is most common among girls, but it can certainly happen with guys as well. In social bullying, the main weapons the bully uses are relationships. This week's feature vocabulary words are demean, depict, and determine. Demean cause a severe loss in the dignity of and respect for something or someone. Depict, show or represent. Determine, cause something to occur in a particular way. Be the decisive factor in. Basketball and soccer seasons are right around the corner and will be starting in just a few weeks. We've begun posting schedules around the building and we encourage you to start making plans now to attend the games. Many of you haven't signed up for the Band app. The Band app is your portal to important information. If you haven't signed up, chances are you're missing out on a lot of important information. Be sure to locate your poster today and sign up for your class account. We've uploaded a new series to our YouTube channel called Memory Lane. Have you ever walked down E-Hall and wondered about some of the stories behind all those pictures on the wall? 
This series visits some of those moments in Eagle Vision history. You can check out the various episodes as they drop on our YouTube channel. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake. We are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Mystery. History to you, but girl, it's new to me I wish that I could see it happen naturally